Have you ever thought about climate change and whether it can affect your health? I'm Dr. Omar Awan. I'm a physician and public health contributor for Forbes.com, and I'm going to answer and demystify that. There are so many people that have no idea what climate change is, and even those that do think it's a complete myth. So what is climate change exactly? Climate change really just refers to long-term shifts in temperature and weather patterns. And just this last decade, from 2010 to 2020, we had record-setting temperatures. It's been the warmest it's ever been on the globe. And why is this happening? What causes climate change? Well, it's actually usually a combination of both man-made and natural factors. But since the 1800s, man-made factors have predominated because we're burning fossil fuels. We burn fossil fuels for electricity and manufacturing, but what that does is it emits gases into the atmosphere, things like carbon dioxide, methane. And when they go into the atmosphere, they trap the energy sun and that increases temperatures. So this is what's causing climate change. And is this really affecting your health? Well, according to the World Health Organization, they predicted that every year from 2030 to 2050, there will be 250,000 deaths because of climate change. Well, how is that going to happen? You may wonder, well, that can't be true. Well, let me give you four examples of how it's really affecting public health. Number one, its effect on specific diseases. Take asthma, for example. Asthma is a disease of your airways, right? Airways allow air to get in and out of your lungs, but in asthma, these airways get inflamed and they obstruct the passage of air getting in and out of your lungs. Well, we breathe in air, and if the air is more polluted from these gases that are being emitted, that's bad, right? That means that it's going to trigger asthma, just like any allergy or chemical irritant would, right? So we expect the incidence of asthma to increase because of climate change. Let's talk about another disease, valley fever. This is caused by a certain fungus that usually only lives in places like the southwestern United States, states like California and Arizona. But now, because of climate change, because of changes in temperature, rainfall, we're starting to see this fungus in states we've never seen it before, like the state of Washington and the state of Nebraska. They're getting valley fever, which is a respiratory infection, and it's never been present there before. These are the effects of climate change. Let's talk about natural disasters, right? The number of weather-related natural disasters has tripled globally, and 60,000 deaths each year are related to weather-related natural disasters. What happens is that the air in the atmosphere increases heat, temperatures and weather and water and seas gets warmer, and this fuels tropical storms, right? This fuels tropical storms because wind speeds get faster in tropical storms, and then the sea level rises, right? The threshold for ice caps to melt lowers because the water in the oceans are, you know, getting warmer and sea levels are rising. And when that happens, that's going to destroy things on land, things like business facilities, homes even. This is all related to natural disasters. Let's talk about food insecurity, right? Temperature, rainfall, all this is important the crops, right? Harvesting crops and even changes in temperature, changes in rainfall can affect the production of food. Well, what happens when you can't produce food because you don't get adequate rainfall or adequate temperatures? Well, then those foods get more rare and because of supply and demand, these foods get more expensive. Well, then not everyone can afford these foods. Well, what happens to people who can't afford those foods? Well, then they turn to foods that are more calorie rich and nutrient poor right? This is going to lead to malnutrition, like going to fast food restaurants because you can't afford healthy foods. Every year, 3.5 million people die because of malnutrition, according to the World Health Organization. And this is just going to increase because of climate change. Let's talk about something else, mental health issues, right? With every natural disaster, hurricane, earthquakes, floods, wildfires, the rate of depression, anxiety, Things like PTSD or post-traumatic stress disorder all increase when you have these issues and these natural disasters. And this is having a profound effect on mental health. The same is true for food insecurity. The more food insecurity there is, the higher the incidence of depression, anxiety, PTSD, all because of climate change. So climate change absolutely has a profound effect on your health. Hope you found this video helpful. And as always, please be kind to yourself and to those around you.